You know, since you're trying to, you know, trade. Let's see what this bad boy is doing. Sounds so good. Bone stock, baby. I can't wait to hear this turbo exactly. start spooling. Yeah. Exactly. I think we need to talk to them about trying to pack a Ryan's diesel service turbo in there. That would be pretty sweet. Big old 68. Big old 68. Big old pig. Yeah, boy, that sounds spooling awesome. <laughs> Did you just say spooling awesome? Spooling awesome. Okay, decal. Decal, guys. We got to make decals now. We're going we're gonna to we're gonna patent that, that one. Yep. Trademark. Spooling All right, that's awesome. <laughs> What is up guys? Once again, thank you so much for stopping by. So we're going to go ahead and let the old Dirty Mac sit this one out for today. I got something pretty exciting for you today. I have Kyle, which is the Rust Belt mechanic with the Bedline Duramax. And I just thought it would be so fitting to show this to you guys. We are here at the headquarters at HSP Humvee, a military Humvee. I was a Sergeant First Class in the United States Army. And I've been out for about a year now just doing my thing and enjoying life and loving it. Being around diesel trucks and just having a lot of fun. So I, I think I may have done this like a year ago. Uh, I think it was our first video. But what made you actually bedline your Duramax? Because it was something different and I really haven't had a vehicle before that wasn't a rusty piece of junk. We'll put it lightly in that mind. So I got this one, it was perfect anyway. So I wanted to be able to preserve it. And I don't have the patience for paint work buffing, sanding, and whatever, all that kind of waxing and crap. And this just so happened to be like the perfect like in-between ground for that. It ended up being the same exact color as it was before, the silver birch metallic. So the Raptor liner that I used is the exact same. You can tint it to however you want. So it's the same color as the truck was before, just way more durable. You want to pop the hood and show us the goods? Let's do it. So how excited are you to be here at HSP? <laughs> Beyond excited. You guys can see that I already started off with some of their parts before. You know, and not sponsored or anything. I purchased these because I did all of my research and they were one of the best ones on the market. I loved how everything fit finished and I love their use of the cold air box to it. And now you're fit. now now you're talking about how mine is wide open. Yours is actually sort of enclosed. You're not sucking that hot exactly. air from the engine. You're getting ambient air temps rather than engine air temperatures into that, which has to account for something. I don't have scientific numbers, but you know it's got to account for something. I'm not gonna talk about Matt six seven <laughs> now. Anybody want to see Matt and uh, old Truck Master race? <laughs> I might get spanked again. I don't know. As long as he doesn't blow a trans. Yeah, that's a good point, sir. Yeah. Yep, that's a very good point. I must ask, Kyle, what is your first thoughts? This is the first time that we're seeing this guy right here. Literally, my first words of this one was, trades, please, trades. trades. You want a tradesies? But this is an unbelievable looking bill. Isn't it great? And the fact that it's bedlined is, that that's my jam. Like that is literally my jam right there. This is a beast. Yeah, and so you did the bed line on the Duramax, and a lot of guys I'm probably probably were pretty sour about it, and some guys are probably like, man, that is the coolest thing ever. It's a love-hate kind of thing. You know, half the guys really love it, half the guys, you know, think it's the stupidest thing I could have done. But whatever. Yeah, but you don't need have to necessarily worry about like my shiny red paint job over there. Nope. You can take it to the trails, it. whatever, and not worry about it. That's right. So that's pretty cool. So Ryan here is the technician at HSP and he's pretty much the right hand man, uh, which Joe, which you've met already in a, in a previous video. So Ryan, talk to me about this build here. So this is your guys' personal company truck, is that correct? That is incorrect. This is actually a company we're working with. They're called Millspec. They build these trucks uh, from the ground up. They go through, completely redo the drivetrain, new motor, new trans, all LBZ based. They put a whole new interior in it with all the creature comforts. Um, so you're basically getting a brand new H1 Hummer. That's incredible. So I know, now talk to me, that's kind of interesting when you said, before we shot this video, you said that the, the Humvee, you turn in a Humvee as a core. That's kind of funny. That is correct. So the way their program works is if you have an H1 Hummer that you want to put a Duramax in, you basically give them your Hummer as a core charge and you walk out the door with a brand new one like this. So, Kyle, you want to trade the Duramax for the... Yeah, all trades. 
I'm not gonna lie, it would be kind of a difficult thing for me to say if I owned your truck to trade. I mean, it's a cool Hummer, it's it's great and all, but like. I've always wanted a Hummer though. <laughs> I've always wanted an H1. Like that's one of those things I've always wanted. Well, you're that's rich, fun. you're a technician, you're big boss yeah, at, at the dealership, he's right? A funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, so explain to me what's going on under here. So what they're doing is they basically packaged a LBZ engine in here. Uh, still emissions compliant, so it's legal for sale in all 50 states. Um, they do full fabricated intercoolers and radiators. This is a package, a unit in there. It, it does reuse uh, the factory AC compressor. So can you explain to me the interior? I know you just talked about that. Yeah, no problem. So the interior on this, they fully fabricate in-house um, it's all cnc press broke uh, to have all the features um, you can see the tag on the center of the dash this is truck number five for them oh i see so it's relatively a pretty new sort of it is they've uh they've built seven of these so far that's incredible so one of seven or five of seven should i five say of seven and then you can see the back wow look at that plenty of room for your passengers it's got your own audio control in the rear Wow. I could even fit in here. You could fit in. You, how tall are you, Kyle? 6'4". My goodness. Nice and comfortable. Other than your eating like kneecaps it. right over there. No. Compared to a Honda, this has got tons of room. So, like a standardized Humvee, I know that the steering wheel and the seat are actually super close. So, I'm like really short, so it's perfect for me. However, a guy like that in a normal Humvee would actually be... Uh, Dude, I've got, I've got room. Your knees would be touching that steering wheel, brother. I guarantee it. Not that one, but in a, in a you know in normal a military H1, one. Yes, it would. Yes, yep. it definitely would. I think it's super cool is they kept the integrity of the military style blackout lights and the rear marker lights. That is just neat. I like the badge work too. It really adds a really sweet touch to it. Do you have any sort of ambitions on maybe converting some of these pipes and whatnot to the HSP piping kits? We definitely want to put the HSP name in these and do everything we can to make these trucks the uh, best they can be. Um, we look forward to working with this company in the future um, on their future trucks they build. Yeah, and I can't wait to actually follow up with this Humvee here in the future and see what you guys do with this bad boy because this is very exciting. It's really neat to see this. This is actually the thing, first thing that caught my eye when I pulled in your guys' parking lot. So that's pretty cool. So that is all the time that we have for today. Um, I know that we've been talking about WC Fab pretty heavily on my channel. And I want to kind of give you guys a different spin on HSP products because I hate to say that WC Fab is the best in the market when I haven't really tried out any other products. So we're gonna be doing a few more videos out here, so I want you guys to stay tuned. Pretty informative, educational stuff is kind of where I'm getting at. I appreciate your time, hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one, take care.